The two most iconic and I would say controversial characters in Star Wars that butted heads all the time, especially in Revenge of the Sith, that was the culmination that ultimately led Anakin Skywalker to become something that he ultimately regretted in the end. Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker to a point were made for each other. You see, Mace Windu was that stoic and survivalist Jedi Master that honored values more than most. Being a renegade like Anakin was not the Jedi way, according to Mace Windu. Without going any deeper into the novelization of Revenge of the Sith, let me just tell you one thing. So, Vapat, the combat form created by Mace Windu, is kind of the main evidence that separates Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker, and anybody who can't see that, Mace Windu does not really respect in a way. Once you use Vapat, the mastery form of Mace Windu, you are actually towing the line between the dark side and the light. You cannot fight through Vapad in a peaceful manner. You need to grab the anger that is flowing inside of you and basically control it. I'm obviously kind of making things simple for this video's sake, but if you go and search for Vapad and its combat style and what requires out of a user, it will show you just that, that you tow the line between the dark and the light and therefore you become one you become even more powerful in legends there is of course the downfall of jedi master sora bulk mace windu catches up with sora bulk who was the co-creator of vapad while mace windu did not fall prey to vapad and the dark side through using the form sora bulk unfortunately did he used Vapat to such an extent that he lost himself into the art form and was subdued by the dark side. His anger got the best of him. Needless to say, Mace Windu lost all respect for Sora Bulk after that. And seeing how Anakin conducts himself multiple times throughout the Clone Wars and his brash and eager manner, you can't fault Mace Windu for having a different opinion about Anakin that he expresses in Revenge of the Sith most specifically. To be clear about about Mace Windu. He sometimes comes across a bit harsh, but we also see that at times Anakin needs a firm hand to keep him in line. Obi-Wan most of the time wasn't able to do that, whether it be Anakin didn't respect Obi-Wan in that manner. Yoda and Mace Windu are basically the only Jedi that could keep Anakin in line. Plus, Mace Windu often remains cold and stoic no matter what he is dealing with, that's his personality. This is the same way he treats Anakin. But through Throughout the Clone Wars and his close relationship with the Chancellor, this is where we understand that Mace Windu started to not trust Anakin. That's what he actually says in Revenge of the Sith. And if we read the Revenge of the Sith novelization, it shines a bigger light on this particular issue. It says this was Mace's particular gift to see how people and situations fit together in the Force to find the sheer planes that can cause them to break in useful ways and to intuit what sort of strike would be best to make the cut. This is kind of what Yoda talked about and Mace Windu practiced is that the future is always in motion, but Mace Windu believed more in the moment, living in the now. So it continues by saying Mace had supported the training of Anakin Skywalker, though it ran counter to millennia of Jedi traditions. Because the structure of fault lines and the force around him, he had been able to intuit the truth of Qui-Gon Jinn's guess, that the young slave boy from Tatooine was in fact the prophesized chosen one, born to bring balance to the Force. He had argued for the elevation of Obi-Wan Kenobi to mastership and to give the training of the chosen one into the hands of this new untested master because his unique perception had shown him powerful lines of destiny that bound their lives together for good or ill. With this in the novelization, even more now we understand how unsure Mace Windu was of Anakin Skywalker. He saw through the Force that yes, this boy from Tatooine was very powerful and someday might bring balance to the Force, but he also knew that the new and untested master in Obi-Wan would be something that might bring good from Anakin, but might also bring the bad as well. It says Anakin was somehow a pivot point, the fulcrum of a lever with Obi-Wan on one side, Palpatine on the other, and the galaxy in the balance. And the lattice of fault lines that bound all three of them to each other stank of the dark side. 
this stink coming off of the dark side, as the novelization seems to insinuate, is what Windu was worried about and ultimately led him to not trust Anakin. It continues by saying, Mace reached into the Force, opening the eye of his special gift of perception. What he found there froze his blood. The tangled web of fault lines in the Force he had seen connecting Anakin to Obi-Wan and to Palpatine was no more. In their place was a single spider knot that sang with power enough to crack the planet. Anakin Skywalker no longer had shatter points, he was a shatter point. The shatter point, everything depended on him, everything. So the novelization also does a much better job of explaining Mace's decision to leave Anakin behind when he confronts Sidious by saying, because he was Mace Windu, within a second the man of sand is stone once more. Pure Jedi Master, weighing coldly the risk of facing the last Dark Lord of the Sith without the Chosen One. Against the risk of facing the last Dark Lord of the Sith was a Chosen One eaten alive by fear. And because he is Mace Windu, the choice is no choice at all. He told the young man, Anakin, wait in the council chamber until we get back. What he in the end says to Anakin is that if what you have told me proves to be true, then you might have regained my trust. In this moment, you gotta understand, he simply told Anakin that to his face that he doesn't trust him. Compounding the fact that the novelization wants to tell us that Mace Windu even sensed fear in Anakin at this moment once he was going to face Sidious, these multitudes of things is what finally led to the credence of Mace Windu's opinion that yes, Anakin is not to be trusted and is very, very dangerous. Not only is he brash, rude, and sometimes undisciplined, the Force itself had seen Anakin as a shatter point. He was not trustworthy due to his implications with Palpatine, and now he was overcome with fear that Mace Windu sensed. What this all tells us is that Mace Windu in the end was not wrong. Now, he might have been wrong about Ahsoka Tano. That is a totally different video that merits its own answer. How Mace Windu treated Ahsoka Tano was just criminal. He was the worst in that particular occurrence. But as far as Anakin, the novelization, be it though now it falls under expanded universe and is not particularly canon, but it shows you why Mace Windu did not trust Anakin Skywalker in the slightest. Guys, what do you think as well though? Talk to me down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video and may the force be with you. Until then.